Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to our live sale this Thursday, June 1st. Happy June. If it's your birthday this month, let me know. It's my dad's birthday in two weeks, so that should be fun. Um, what else? <laughs> I'm, I'm so unprepared today. I'm so sorry. It was a super hectic morning, and today, um, this morning's sale... It's going to be like a flash sale of stuff that I randomly still have in my room for sale. Um, and I will be back later on today and we're doing another sale because I, yeah, I, I thought I was going to be able to get into the garage this morning and I did not. I was like doing laundry, dishes, feeding the kids. I'm like a single parent right now. Um, <laughs> my sister has her finals right now and like she's going crazy. So, it was a super busy morning, and um, I had to go plant some stuff, too, for my mom today. So, oh, wait! Linda, yes, I did. I actually pulled it um, for you. I have to go look for it, because I forgot where I, went, where I put it. Um, it was this bag, right? This coach bag with the three... Did we, we, I think we showed this one, like, a few days ago. No, it's the, it's this black coach bag with like the three tassels on it with the two pockets. It looks like a Marc Jacobs. Hi, Cindy. Are you sure? Not before then or after then? Oh, Cindy, you're getting a pedicure? Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so cute, right? It has, like, the three little coach hang tags. It has the two front pockets right here. It looks like a Marc Jacobs, kind of. Shoulder strap and the cross body. And then it has a, is it a blue or purple? Ah, uh, blue interior lining. Right there. Hi, Batia. Oh, Tanya, are you feeling better? Hi, Deborah. Marisol. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I showed it again, but okay. Well, how much are we doing it for? Can you just tell me? You don't know what the bag is? No, just tell me what the just tell me what it is. Just give me a give me the price for it. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Okay. I don't have a giveaway right now, but I will do the giveaway later on in the day. Um, so I'll just let you guys enter twice today for the giveaway. So I just need a quick giveaway question, and then I will leave the link for the giveaway in the live chat. I'm really excited that you found those sunglasses too, Tanya. Those are so cute. Let's see, where am I? I still can't believe it's June 1st already. I feel like it was just May 1st last week. And time has just gone by so quickly. Wait, 
Oh no, Tanya. <laughs> That's a lot of tissues. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, let me think of a giveaway question really quick. Um, that's a good question. Mmm! Thank you, Edie. You're the best. Favorite summer drink. That's a good one. All right, there you go. What is your seek? Ooh, that's a good one too, Linda. Linda, we're gonna use that question later. I'm gonna save that. We're gonna use that at the next sale. I save that. Okay, so what's your favorite drink is gonna be our question for right now. I'm gonna let you guys enter twice. I'm gonna have a good giveaway. I'm gonna find something good for you guys later on. Again, I'm so sorry to have any time. Like literally, I was like, I was gonna start making um, fried chicken for lunch and I was like, wait a minute, the live sale is at 11. So, actually, in, we're actually just going to do an hour for right now too, because I gotta get cooking. <laughs> I might actually leave for a second to put some chicken in the, in the air fryer, so that um, it usually takes about 35 minutes to get that first batch going. So like halfway in, I'm gonna run out really quick and then We'll continue. Okay, so we'll start off. Um, Linda, I'll, show, we'll just, I'll just do this bag first. Um, so this one is the Black Coach shoulder bag with silver hardware and three hang tags. And this one we're going to do for $40. It's going to be item number one. And... Yes. Okay, so that's item number one. All right, congratulations, Linda. Woo! And then, ooh, also I scheduled the rest of the lives through Saturday. So, the live sale for tomorrow, I'm going to do that one at 9, I think is when I said it. Because we have Cade's water polo match, and I don't exactly know when it's going to end. But we should be home by 9 o'clock. So, um, that one, and then Saturday, of course, is going to be at 10. Oh, okay. Someone please buy my set of 7 Pottery Barn plates. Um, I think I only have these for $20 for 7 of these. They're bowls. And they're fantastic. They're from the Great White Collection. I believe one bowl is like $14, $15. So you're going to get seven bowls for the price of just almost just one. So that's going to be item number two. Set of seven Pottery Barn um, white bowls. And that'll be 20 bucks. Oh, that's true, Linda. And it's not very heavy, but it'll hold a lot because it's a good size. Okay, so that is number two, a set of seven Pottery Barn bowls. They're really cute, too. They look like flying saucers. But they have, like, a nice lip. That's what they look like right there. Okay, and then for three, I have this really cute Anthropology mug. Right there. It has these really cute floral details. There's a little 3D flower right there. And then it has like a teal little handle. And it has the flowers on the inside also. An anthropology flower mug with green handle. And this one's going to be... Uh, let's do $7 for this one. That's going to be item number three. Oh, that's good to hear, Edie. Where are you going to go on vacation? My parents want to take the kids on, like, 
um, like a road trip, but we're still trying to figure out where we're going to take them. So, but that's going to be so much fun, Edie. I'm so glad that you're feeling good. You're going to go on vacation. That's amazing. Isn't it cute, Linda? All right, next up, we have item number four. Oh, Linda's calling it. Number three, yay! That mug is so cute. I love the little 3D flower. I think that's like my favorite part about it. All right, next up, we have... Oh, this is that um, Patricia Nash little box set wallet. It's... Brand new. It also comes with a little handkerchief as well. And it's in this black and cream and gold plaid with brushed gold hardware. It has a little kiss lock right here for the change. And it just has a microfiber lining. And then it has these. I, I, I miss these things. They're like the little plastic card holders. Remember like we used to have these and then we'd put pictures inside of them from our friend's photo shoots at like the little photo place. Um, but yeah, so this is our next item, our Patricia Nash box wallet set. That's number four. Hi, Brittany. Ooh, what kind of flowers are those in your photo? Um, Patricia Nash. Box wallet and hanker chief sets and how much are we doing this for Adrian? okay i'm going to do this for just 35 dollars you guys that's going to be item number four it's brand new with the box 35 for the wallet and the handkerchief that matches there we go okay next up I have... Oh, I'm going so fast. This feels weird. Oh, I have another wallet. I totally forgot I had this one. This is a super cute Kate Spade small card wallet. And it's an accordion style. And it holds a ton of cards. It's in blue. Um, it's a blue pebbled leather on the exterior. And then inside, underneath the top flap, it's Safiano. And it has um, silver hardware. Just has case made in silver right there and the little button is silver underneath. And this one is in like new condition. This is gonna be item number five. So blue leather Kate Spade accordion wallet with silver. And this one is gonna be how much food are in? So we're doing this one for $40. It's gonna be item number five for $40. Next up is going to be number six. Uh, okay. For number six, let's do... Okay, these are um, Mark Jacobs sunglasses. These are so cute. Like the glass... Like the the f lenses they like extend out into like a cat eye and they are in like a ombre gray or like a ombre but like a gradient gray and then it has the silver braided metal frame so it kind of looks like an aviator and also like a cat eye and then it has like the white at the end of the temples and then they look like this on they're super cute So this is going to be item number six. These are Mark Jacobs uh, Gradient Gray um, Braided Silver Frame Sunglasses. And these are going to be just, we'll do 75 for these. It's going to be item number six. 
75. Then next up we have number 7. Oh, I have this um, little coach bag as well. This is a little crossbody. And then you can actually turn this one into a shoulder bag. You just move strap through like this. And it has a little buckle on the end. Right here. So you put it through. And then now it's a little shoulder bag. This is just a black leather with silver hardware. And then we have a little zipper up top. And then this one has a black interior lining. And then it has a it has two pockets and then a zipper pocket on that side. Yeah, the inside is nice and clean. This actually is in a really, really great shape. Super cute. It's a cute little crossbody shoulder bag. And this is our black coach convertible shoulder crossbody bag with silver hardware. And right, Linda? I like the cursive coach. Like I like I really like that writing. I remember back then when um, these bags came out and I liked it because no one ever like I I used to write in cursive like all the time and no one else wrote in cursive. I don't know why I was the only one that stuck with it. But I would always write in cursive and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I love this bag because of like the right the logos in cursive." Okay. And this one's going to be $45. And that's going to be item number seven. That bag was probably from like the early 2000s-ish, huh? It was when this bag came out. Or like this style. Like around the time of like the poppy style bags when those became really popular. Okay, next up. I have, oh, I totally forgot that I still have this. This is the, um, I think this is a Montclair, Montclair wallet. Yeah, so this is a navy blue zip around Montclair wallet. It has the letter M logo, and it's like a debossed. And then it has like one like interior middle pocket. I guess you can actually put change in there and then you can put your cards on the other sides. But it's like a L zipper. That is just navy and black in the interior. And yeah, it's super cute. Um, oh yeah, Lady Badger, you can see it. Okay, Vader, how much was this one? This is number eight. This is our blue Montclair zip around wallet. You said how much? Okay, let's do this one for 95. That's gonna be item number eight. Um, this was the bag. Lady Badger. Isn't it so cute? Little coach. Hi Sam, how's it going? Okay. Next up is number nine. We have our coach notebook. This one is in like new condition too. It's in a brown monogram. It has a green C coach on there. The inside is in a green glove tanned leather, which is really nice. And then it has a just a lined notebook, and the notebook is brand new. Um, the whole thing is in like new condition. It's in really great shape. This would actually be a cute graduation gift too, huh? Or for someone that likes to journal or take notes and stuff. So this is our coach brown monogram um, notebook with notebook insert. 
And then this is going to be Let's do this one for 75. That's going to be item number 9. Next is number 10. Let's see what else do we have around here. Oh, I still have this little um, letter F mug. This is also an anthropology one with the flowers on it. Really, really pretty. This one's in great shape too. Little letter F on there. Okay, and this one is, let's just do this one for $7 also. That's gonna be item number 10. And then 11, what time is it? Okay, we're good on time still. Let's do, oh, I still have these. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I have these Uggs. They're the furry Uggs and they're puffy. These are gonna be item number 11. These are a size six, they're brand new. Oh, Marjorie's calling them. Congratulations, Marjorie. Number Yay! All right, so these are our um, gray. Okay, Linda. Letter D, yes. Uh, gray for you. Puffy. Ug. Sandals. Platform. Size 6. And how much is this one going to be? Okay, we did that one at 55. Let's do a little discount. We'll do 45 for these today. It's going to be item number 11 for 45. Those are brand new platform Uggs. They're size 6. And that's number 11. Okay, next up, got 12. And going to be... Oh, I have this, um, this is the Anthropology Karaf. It's in glass, and it says bonjour right there. And it has this floral design, and then it says ciao bella. Um, I think this one, this is just like, it has like some of the print is coming off just on this one um, word where it says ciao. Um, otherwise, though, like the rest of the, rest of the Karaf is in great shape. It has like these little gold flowers around it as well and this has a gold rim and you can use these not just for like drinks you can put flowers inside of here too i think it'd be really pretty so that's going to be item number 12 this is our anthropology glass bonjour floral carafe and this is going to be Okay, let's do this one for just $20. And that's number 12. 13 is next. Ooh, what do I gotta do for 13? Okay, put that one over there. Um, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Oh! I still have this guy. This super cute. Hi, Kathleen. Um, this is a Balenciaga little crossbody bag in orange. It's a cute little flat crossbody, and it's super squishy. It holds a lot, even though it's really small. And it has gold hardware. It has the removable mirror right here. The mirror is in great shape. It does have um, some rubbing on the corners. But these Balenciaga bags, they always get that. They're supposed to like wear in over time. And then we have in the interior one zipper pocket. And then there's like a little pocket right there as well. There's a little bit of like lightning around 
the top of the fabric, but nothing very, nothing like super noticeable. And I think that's it. But it's a really, really cute bag. The strap also is adjustable as well. And then crossbody. Like this. this is our orange Balenciaga flat crossbody bag with gold hardware and detachable mirror. And this one is gonna be okay. We have this one, let's do 300 for number 13. It's for our Balenciaga crossbody bag. She's a cutie. Okay, next up, we have number 14. Okay, um, oh! Okay, I really like these sunglasses. These are Fendi, they come with a case. Look how cute these are. This is the giant square. Hi, Tanji! How are you? I know, we haven't seen you in a hot second. So these are our Fendi sunglasses. They are, uh, the frames are in gold, but in the very front, it's like a black enamel, but it's gold underneath in the back. And then it also has these like black enamel studs on them. And then it has a brown gradient lens. And look at the sides. They have like this like little zigzaggy design. They're really cool. Okay, these are number 14. Fendi large square Fendi sunglasses gold frames with black enamel details and studs with case. And these are how much paid me? Okay, these are 195. Actually, 180. Let's do 180 on these. 180, that's gonna be number 14. I love these sunglasses. They're so, like, the size of these are so good. Mmm. I also still have those. Oh, I'm at 180. I'm sorry. There we go. Oh my god, now I put one. Vadrian. This is Vadrian's fault. There you go. That's number 14. 180. They're so cute. Alright, next up. <laughs> like 50 times. All right, and our next item is going to be, what else do I have around here that I can do? <laughs> Bye Marisol. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna sell this. This is a vintage Celine silk scarf, and it is so pretty. It has like um, this the sun and moons and like the Celine um, triumph design, and it's just like a large rectangular scarf, and it's like see through. It's silk. Um, the little tag is right here. Things are gonna come off. Yeah, little tag is right there. And made in Italy, 100% silk. It also does say like Celine all over it too. Um, it's really pretty. 
and it's a really good length too. You can tie this like obviously around your neck and shoulders, and then you can also use it as a little, just um, a little like, what's it called? A cute bag accent. Um, oh, hold on, I learned how to make a flower. I wonder how this would look. I don't remember how to do it anymore though. Let me see if I can remember. Like you tie it like this. I think you're supposed to do this, and then, ugh, I can't remember how to do it, no, okay, I don't remember, never mind, don't listen to me. <laughs> I was showing my mom how to do it the other day, and I was like, ooh, I'm so good at this, I don't even remember anymore. Okay, so this is our, um, Celine Silk, um, Constellation scarf, and it's in, like, black... And then the gold and then the white. Mysterious. Okay, we're gonna do this one for 175. That's gonna be number 15 for our Celine Sail Constellation scarf. She's gorgeous. And she's like in perfect condition. She doesn't have like any snags or anything. Just beautiful. Woo! Okay, so that's number 15. And then number 16 is next. All right, next up, I have the Marc Jacobs Poly Pocket Bag. This is the Heaven Bag. Right there, it has a little jewel um, clasp right there to open it up. I always forget which way this goes. The lining is so cool, though, for this bag. It's so cute. <laughs> it's like a, there's different, like, little doodle designs. There's, like, a little girl jumping rope. There's a... The two-headed bear, spider, and super cute. It's in this plastic frame, and then it has a two-headed bear embossed right there on the front. So this is going to be item number 16. This is our blue Marc Jacobs Poly Pocket Plastic Bag, and this one is how much we in? Okay, we're gonna do this one for two fifty. I'm gonna do a discount on it. It's gonna be number sixteen, two hundred and fifty dollars, and then seventeen is next. We have these Celine sneakers or slip-on sneakers, and they are in this, like, fun, abstract, colorful print. They're in really good shape. Like, they don't have much wear on them at all. They are a size, um, eight and a half, and they fit, like, a seven and a half eight. So that is going to be number 17. Celine abstract print slip-on sneakers, size, I think the actual size on here is like a 38, yeah, 38 and a half, fits like 7.5 to 8, and how much are these being made? Okay, we had these at like 150. Let's do 130. Oh my gosh, what is happening? 130. And that's going to be item number 17. So I am trying to go fast because I'm trying to show a good amount of items before I have to head out and start making 
lunch. Oh my gosh, P.S. Um, those Apple turnover, I don't know, I don't even know what they're called, um, that my mom, um, that my mom made last night, they were so good, and I ate three of them already. Like, I've ate a total of three. It is bad. <laughs> I ate so many. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I... Definitely probably gained back that one pound that I lost last week. Uh, next up is going to be number 18. And, oh, I have a question. Do you, okay, I have thrifted so many um, Oh, Purple Rain's calling number 15! Woo! Congratulations, Purple Rain! Oh, you're the this scarf. It is a beauty. Uh, I've had this one for a while, but I'm like, literally have never actually used it. I just like take it out to look at it because it's so pretty. So I'm glad that it's going to a good home. Congratulations. Um, wait, what was I talking about? I totally forgot. Yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. This is me trying to hold back and, like, not talk, like, about random stuff, because I'm trying to go fast. Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll be we'll be normal again at the next live, um, especially when I have more stuff pulled, because I this is just stuff that I just immediately have inside of my room. Um, I, I'm, I desperately need to clean out the garage. It's like intense. Hmm? About what? Oh, I don't know, you know what I was going to say. I thrifted so many what? What is wrong with me? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, next up, I have, this is a Brand new inbox, Anya Hinmark. Um, oops. Charm. It's a oops leather charm. And it's so cute. You can put on your keys, on your bag. It comes with everything from the box to the little dust bags, to the little cards. And it's brand new. Oops, I did it again. What's your favorite Britney Spears song? Okay, that is number 18. Our Anya Hinmark. A uh, brand new with box and <laughs> dust bag. Um, oops. Charm. And how much is this, Peter? Sixty-five. All right. I don't. I'm just like trying to like not start going off on a tangent, but then it's like <laughs> making it hard to actually concentrate. I'm like, what am I doing again? What do I have here? What is this? Oh, I remember! I was gonna ask you guys about, um, about hydro flasks. Because I have thrifted a good number of hydro flasks, and I just uncovered a box, and I was like, are they gonna be interested in used hydro flasks? So, let me know, because I think I wanna, um, let go of some of the hydro flasks that I have because I literally have so many at this point. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you guys would be interested in hydro flasks. I have a bunch in different shapes, sizes, and colors. So I can pull out that box later and we can go through them and see if anyone wants any of them. But I have a good amount of hydro flasks. So yes. So if anyone likes those, let me know. Um, oh, I have this wallet on a chain. This is a Mark Jacobs. And it's in this taupe color with um, gold hardware and accents. And the crossbody strap is removable. So you can remove this, just use this as a large wallet. I really like the neutral color of this. It's like a taupe beige color. Um, it says Mark Jacobs right there in gold on the front. There's a little pocket right there. Um, there... Here's a little mark. It's, like, really, really light. It is right there. It doesn't show up on camera. But, um, I, like, 
it used to be darker. I'm, I removed a lot of it. It's like really, like I couldn't, it takes me a second to even find it when I'm trying to look for it. But there's just like a really light mark right there on the front. Um, and then there is some rubbing on the corners, but nothing major. Uh, snap, closure, there is a lot of card slots, more card slots. There are some lipstick marks on the inside right there. And it, this is a little change purse or change pocket. Um, but yeah, other than that though, the wallet is in pretty good shape. A lot of life left. This will fit the largest iPhone with the case and the pop socket and everything. It still fits inside of there really well. And it does kind of open up a little bit too on the sides because it's gusseted. So great little wallet on a chain. Hi, Kirsten. Ooh, how was Taekwondo yesterday? I need to finish going through your boxes. Ooh, yes, I do have smaller ones. Because I um when the kids, especially Eliza, was little, I picked up a bunch of little ones that he that um so he could pick whatever he wanted when he went to school. And I don't think the little ones are in that box, so I think I put them somewhere else. I think I think I have like the they're the thinner, taller ones. But I don't know, we're, I'm gonna look for them. Okay. This is number nineteen. This is our Mark Jacobs um uh, Tope gray wallet on chain with gold accents and this one is how much Peter? oh kathleen <laughs> yeah they do get pretty heavy because of their metal you'd probably do better with like the um like the plastic starbucks cups which i also love and i have too many of you guys um <gasps> Are you guys interested in cups, uh, in these cups? Because I think I have some that I might be letting go of. Do not this one. This is mine. Um, no, this is just a. This is just like the regular Mark Jacob New York. Let's do this one for a while. Let's do. It does have the lipstick marks. I'm just gonna do forty dollars on this one. Otherwise, though, it's in pretty good shape, and it's really cute as a crossbody. So cute. I just, <laughs> I found this shirt this morning. Um, can you believe, like, this shirt used to be, like, kind of, like, tight on me. It's crazy. But I love this shirt, though. Look at the back. I have, I actually have the matching hoodie for this that I thrifted. And so I can't let this one go. It does, Kathleen, right? I'm obsessed right now, though, with Stanley's. They're like my new obsession because they fit in my cup holder. And I don't need to have, like, that special attachment for my cup holder so I can put my giant hydro flask in it. Plus, it has the handle, which is really handy. And I don't know. I love it. So now I need, like, some more of these. I really want a yellow one. I'm trying to find a pink one for my mom. Jean, I do love all of the new Starbucks cups. You already know I'm obsessed with them. Okay. Um, oh, man. I skipped. What was number 18? Oh, how much was that? Charm. 65? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, 20 is next. Kirsten. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yes. Oh, is that an avocado shake? Ooh, thanks. Got an avocado shake. My mom made avocado shakes. Yay. They're so good. Mmm. I told you guys she was going to make them the other day, but she never ended up making them with the avocados that my aunt gave us. And these are so good. Mm. <laughs> Get your Stanley now. They're so good. I got one for my mom, too, because she saw mine. And she was like, that's going to fit inside of my cup holder. And then, like, we have matching ones now, so we're twins. I told you I'm obsessed with being twins with my mom. So, 
Oh my gosh, Kirsten, yes. Come over and have some avocado shakes. So she uses, um, she uses like the low carb ice cream, but not the one that tastes not that great. It's like the, the one with the lowest amount of carbs that it still tastes like regular ice cream. I think it's like Select is the brand. I don't remember exactly, but that one's really, really good. And then I think she just puts a little bit of, um, milk or almond milk and then lots of ice and then she does like the puree thing like it's like yogurt like is almost like the consistency and it's so good um this one holds Forty ounces. Well, it literally still has a sticker underneath because I never took it off. Yeah, it's forty ounces. It holds a lot of water. It's really, really good. And my mom, I feel like she's never like she is really bad at drinking water. And I got her like hydro flasks and um, Yeti cups. And, like, they kind of help her drink water because she can just take them around. But she has been drinking water like no other with this thing. It's funny. I don't know why. <laughs> but I don't, she just really likes the cup, I guess. And she says it's easier to carry. Yeah, Kathleen! I got, like, um, one year for Christmas, I gave everyone Yetis. And then I gave them, like, the little handle attachments two um but this cup actually holds more water than the more water than that one so this one's a 40 ounce one which is a lot right it looks small but it's huge like in comparison it's actually taller than my face including my hair so it's pretty big oh it has um it actually has avocado gene like actual avocado Mmm. Yeah, you guys have to try an avocado shake. It just tastes so delicious and, like, creamy. And the avocado definitely helps in, like, adding to that texture. Oh, that's good, Kirsten. Yeah, water is so important. I find that when I don't drink enough water, too, I break out. So a lot of water is always really good for me, at least, too, because it helps my skin a lot. But yeah, this is just a lot easier to carry. But I like, like, the Hydro Flasks are great, too, because they have, like, these little handles. But, yeah. The only thing that really bothers me, though, is I don't like the sound that these make when you put them, like, on tables with, like, the metal. I need to get one of these little rubber feet for this. Because it, like, it's, it's almost like nails on a chalkboard. I don't know why. You know how, like, some sounds, let like, like trigger you the metal on something hard like it just like grates in my ears for some reason so i'm always like so gentle when i put it down on the counter because i'm like ah my ears <gasps> oh no kathleen yeah kirsten true yeah, water is so good. I've always drank in, like, I've always, I'm all, I've always been, like, a huge water drinker. But I find that if I don't have as much water as I normally do, I start to break out. Especially when it's, like, um, really hot. Yeah, for, I don't actually, I only use Yetis and stuff for cold. I don't like warm drinks in anything other than like a regular mug. I'm weird. Or like um, one of those like Starbucks coffee cup things. I don't know why. But I don't like drinking hot things out of metal things. Is that weird? Like the Yetis, like they're made of like aluminum. I don't know, like some sort of metal. I don't like drinking hot drinks out of them because I feel like, for some reason, to me, it makes it taste like metal. So I'm just like, eh. 
So I just, I want to drink it out of like something ceramic <laughs> or <laughs> glass or something. But that's just me being weird. Um, okay, we're just going to do one more item, and then I'm going to come back to you guys in a few hours. Um, I'm going to try to be back at 5, but it might be a little bit later. Um, I scheduled it for 5 o'clock, though, but I'm not 100% sure. Because I might still be working in the garden. My mom, and, my mom really wants me to get um, or help her plant um, her stuff in the garden so that I can start growing properly. And I just have them in the little things from the store. So I burned my mouth. Yeah, Kathleen, right? Frozen chunks of auto. Yes, fighting soulless, yes. Oh, has anyone ever like frozen avocados before? Like a whole avocado? Because my mom and I and my aunt were talking about like, um, cause people say that they freeze their avocados. But, like, do you guys, like, people that freeze their avocados, do you freeze them whole? Or do you cut them? Like, I thought that it was, like, they were cut into chunks and then frozen. Um, but kind of like bananas, you know? Or mangoes. But is it, like, how do you freeze an avocado? It doesn't turn brown, right? As long as you, like, kind of, like, vacuum seal the bags or something. Yeah, these... Yeah. Yeah, they, they are for hot and cold drinks, Kathleen. Like, um, the Yetis, the Stanleys and stuff. I just don't like to drink anything hot out of metal because it, I feel like it always has, like, a weird metallic taste. But I just might be making that up in my brain. Okay, last item. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start start cooking and start planting. Um, do you guys want a live tour of the garden one day? Like once I kind of get the garden looking better. <laughs> or once I get everything planted. Do you guys want to do like a live tour? I can just like do it on my phone. I think that would be pretty fun outside. I think that would be really cute. I think I will do that. Um, maybe like maybe next week. Once everything's like more a little bit more established. Um... But I want to do like a little garden tour. I think that'd be so much fun. I know, Kirsten. This one is from Urban Outfitters. And it's in like this really cute, like beigey, off-white color. Ooh, and I like to buy from um, Urban Outfitters because I always get coupons if you have the app. So if you sign up for the app um, and then you buy a Stanley, it's like... Is it 10% off, Feeder? Yeah, you get like 10% off. So you can get a coupon if you buy it through Urban Outfitters. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Okay, yeah, yeah. Garden tour next week then. Um, so I, I better plant today. So that way the little plants will start growing. Okay, last item for right now is going to be... What do I even have around me? Um... Let's do this. This is a set of anthropology plates. There's three of them. Two of them have like these dark, darker marks on them. I think it's from the glaze. Because these two are the ones that have like... Sometimes like these, um, these are all like handmade. So... They have, like, glazing inconsistencies. Like, these, like, you know, like, when it has, like, that crackled glaze, glaze? These two have, like, a crackled glaze. And then this third one is just, like, smooth. So this one doesn't have any of, like, the graying on it. But they're still super duper cute. And they have, like, the apple with a little um, caterpillar. There's a little ladybug right there to eat the aphids that are taking over the flowers. And it says croque-la-pomme. Probably did not pronounce that correctly. But this is our set of three anthropology apple plates. And let's just do these three for $20. We had them at $25 before, but since it's number 20 and our last item for the day, let's do $20 for 
number 20 for our set of three anthropology plates. And that'll be our last item for right now. And then, oh, Purple Rain is calling them. Congratulations, Purple Rain. The plates are so coming. Hi, Hi, Becky. Alrighty. But um, I'll be back later. Um, I want to. I'm gonna try to be back at five. But if I'm if I don't start the live at five, I'll probably be here at seven. So I just want to get all that stuff done that I need to get done today. So that way, it'll be done because tomorrow's gonna be a super busy day for me. And then the weekend, you guys already know. So um, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'll see you guys again in a few hours, hopefully, and we'll do the giveaway then. And that's it. All right. Bye, guys. I got to go make food. I totally forgot to leave. But here's the link one more time for the giveaway. Um, oh, Lady Badger, I'm going to do the giveaway later. So here's the link. You guys are going to be able to enter twice. The giveaway is going to be good, though. So you're going to gonna, you're gonna want to make sure to enter. So enter now, and then you have another chance to enter again later. So you're going to have two chances. And um, I'll see you guys all in a few hours. Okay? All right. Love you guys. Bye.